I had a strong desire to get out and make a video yesterday. The problem is, I live in an area with incredible walking trails, but for landscape photography, it's not so great. That's why when I'm not traveling, I don't make too many videos because I don't want to make something that's going to be boring for you with just a bunch of mediocre images. Anyway, I needed to get out. So I thought it'd be quite a good challenge to see if I could actually pull this off. But I didn't have any sort of plan or story or any reason, not yet. It's the 1st of October and the leaves are just starting to turn. So no dramatic autumn shots just yet. As I'm walking and looking around, I did think of a topic, a project, a purpose for being there. I decided to shoot details like plants and leaves that are backlit. It's worth mentioning I only had a 50mm lens with me on my trusty old Nikon Z6, which is three years old, bits are falling off of it, but I love this camera. For those of you interested in the video side of things, I decided not to take my crummy little GoPro out and film on. I took my proper video rig with me this time, minus the V-mount battery pack and the monitor because that would have been a little bit too heavy. And I only took a 50mm lens for that camera too. So it's a 50 mil day. For the type of photography that I had in mind, it's typical to use a macro lens, but a 50 mil will suffice. Right, let's do this. The backlit leaves were not working at all. The best shots are when you can find a few leaves that are absolutely perfect and really well isolated. So it's really simple and elegant. But the leaves that I kept coming across were all eaten and diseased and they were not looking very pretty at all. No photography project is complete until you've figured out the look and the feel of your post-processing. And I was very much influenced by the fact that things were just eaten and diseased and decaying. So I created a custom 
color preset and use that on my final set of images. Well, after that, it was time for a beer or three. I think the photos were okay, nothing spectacular, but it was certainly a lot of fun. And it's always good to give yourself uh, a little project, a little challenge like that, even in the, the most boring of places and conditions. I think the video footage was more successful. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see something else that I did, very similar, but with a macro lens, Watch that video there, that was kind of fun. That was a challenge I did with a friend. Thanks for watching.